Hi guys, it's Liki here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lika and I review a lot of activewear. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have the brand new Camo Fitness Azure collection for you. I'll be doing a full on review. I have 10 pieces in total from this collection. I think they launched maybe 15 or 16 pieces altogether. So there's definitely a, a good few more than I have, but I feel like 10 is, 10 is quite a number, you know, to get through today. And this collection has two really beautiful blue tones. We have a light, like baby blue and a darker, more royal navy blue, as well as some black, of course, also because, you know, a lot of people do like a basic black. Um, I really do like a baby blue and blues in general. So I was like really, really interested when Camo Fitness uh, contacted me. It was like, oh, do you want to review this collection for us? And I was like, yes, let's do it. Unfortunately, the package didn't really make it much before the launch, so by the time I'm filming this, this is like the day before the actual launch. Um, so you will see it a little bit after, but you know what? Nevertheless, I think this is going to be interesting to watch for you. Um, if you haven't heard of Camo Fitness before, Camo Fitness is a more affordable activewear brand. They, you know, have quite a few different leggings, sports bras, crop tops, shorts now. I have shopped from them before. I can actually link uh, those videos in my whole playlist up there for you. And I also do have a code with Camel Fitness. You can co use code Rika for 5% off your purchase. If you do so, of course, uh, it'll support me. But don't worry, I'll always be super honest with you and I'll give you my super honest opinions. And I will, of course, also, you know, link all the products down below and let you know, you know, there's timestamps with, the, with whatever the product is. So, you know, exactly what I've shown you here. But yes, Maybe we should start, at, like I said, 10 pieces, you know, it's it's quite a lot of stuff. So, quick little um, info on the Azure collection. Like I already mentioned, we got some nice blue tones here. The collection launched on February 27th. So, we have it out already. You can go to their website, which I'm also going to put down below in the description box, and you can go check it out. And, um, yeah. We have a good selection, a lot of different things for everyone, I think, and I'm super excited to try out those pieces. I just picked up the package. It was a really, really, really big package, and let's get started. I usually start with the tops, so I think I'll keep doing that for now. Also, we have two main fabrics in this launch. So we have the Serenity fabric, which they've uh, had for a while now, um, Serenity leggings and that kind of stuff. I think those were customer favorites. And then we have a new fabric that is called Allura. And I will, of course, also talk a little bit about the difference between these two fabrics when we come to the leggings. But let's get started with the sports bras, the tops. Um, I just want to show you, pieces always come in this little uh, zipper plastic bag with the camo logo on there. And I also do think, let's see if it's still in there, because I you know, try to organize myself a little bit. We always do get a little sticker that says good vibes in all the pieces. So we have this little sticker here. And the first piece that we have here is the Clio Allure sports bra. I got this one in the color royal blue and in my normal sports bra size small. So here we have this cute little number. It is a really nice dark navy blue. And you can see we have up and down straps here. And you do have like a little bit of a curved hem here at the bottom, which I think can look really, really cute. The straps are not adjustable, but they are stretchy because of this fabric. And then we have quite a lower, like quite a low neckline here, scoop low neckline. And then the back is also quite open with the U back here. And we do have a tone and tone Camo Fitness logo here. So you don't really notice it too much. It's a little shimmery, shiny. But that is about it. So yeah, this is made from the Allura fabric and it is a 70% nylon and 30% spandex. Very, very soft, stretchy as well. And I think they said that the Allura fabric has this nylon core, which is supposed to make it soft, but also resist like durable. So like tough when it needs to be basically. That's what, how they described it, I think. The sports bra does not have removable cup pads. It has two layers off the fabric, which, you know, should be enough in terms of coverage in general, you might still be able to see some nippage. Um, and yeah, no cup pads, no space for the cup pads, but let's see it on. 
All right, here we have the sports bra. I will say I don't actually mind that there's no removable cup pads in here. I still find like it, you know, gives you enough coverage with a double lining and it's not, you know, too, too bad. Um, maybe you will see some nippage, but otherwise I think it's like super cute. Like, look at it. It's not for big boobs, I will say that. I don't think it is for big boobs. Like, I think this is for a smaller chest or you will have to kind of size up a little bit. But like, for me, it's kind of, you know, already like, I get some cleavage here with this and I do have a small chest. And I do find this down here very, very flattering. And we have this really, really low scoop neck. You have good side boob coverage, thicker straps, up and down straps, right? So they're actually nice and comfy. And then the back is very simple. So I feel like from the back, you don't really see how like nice the sports press from the front. Um, yeah, I do like it. It's also very comfy. I did wear it for a weightlifting session already and I have no complaints. Like it's really, really nice. Like I said, flatters my small chest and I like how this actually stays in place because there's this Buff Bunny Collection Curve Sports Bra that I also do have in two different colors, but I feel like with that one, this doesn't really stay as nicely kind of in this curvy curve mode, whereas here, like, it stays that way. So yeah, support-wise, more of a light support for sure, but it is comfy, it looks good, and um, I like up and down straps every now and then as well because it's just a little bit more comfortable for the traps, too, of course. Um, but yeah, I like it. I feel like I could use this in a few more colors, you know, because it's actually really, really nice. And I feel tucked in, but still, you know, you kind of get this big cleavage, but like, I'm not afraid of falling out. There's not really any gaping for my small chest, so that's really good. And yeah, I like it. Let's move on. Next up, we have another sports bra. This is the Eva sports bra, and this is the other fabric. So this one is, I just checked it, but let me just quickly double check, 75% nylon and 25% spandex. So very, very slightly different. Feels a little bit more brushed, if you ask me. But like both of them do feel very, very soft, you know, and sturdy in general. We also do have here a bit more of a classic sports bra shape, I would say. We do have a V neckline here, removable cup pads in this one. We also do have a little uh, tone and tone camera fitness look. I'm not even sure if you can see this because this is black. Uh, also, mine kind of comes off already. I don't know if I can show you this here. So these can peel off sometimes. I'm just gonna, there. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> which is, you know, I mean, it's fine. I don't care too much about logos on here. And yeah, so very, very simple here. We have good coverage. It is quite long lined. You have quite good coverage here also on the sides. And then in the back, we have a Y racer back. So again, very, very simple. Thicker straps that are again, unadjustable, but they are stretchy because they're made from the fabric. And it really, you know, kind of looks like a little bit of a shorter crop top situation, right? I think this is going, it's going to be really, really nice. It's just like a sports bra on its own, like I feel like you don't need to cover it too much else because you're kind of tucked in with this one. And yeah, of course this also comes in other colors. I decided to go for black because that works with everything. It's nice to have a good basic black sports bra every now and then. And yeah, again, overall really, really soft. Feels a little bit more brushed than your lower fabric for now. This is what I can say. And let's see it on. All right, a little black bra. So there's, you know, this one is really like just I don't want to call it basic because it still has like some fun little elements, but it's like a really like good basic piece to have. So like it's not basic in a negative way, you know. Um, I do like that we have a little V here. It's not too deep. Is it a V though? Yeah, it is a V, right? Not too deep. Um, it's re relatively long lined here. But interestingly enough, you don't really have a seam under the chest directly and then like just a little bit of fabric. No, we just do have a seam here at the very bottom of the piece. So like... It's just kind of like very seamless here otherwise until until the very bottom. Good type of coverage, good coverage overall. Removable cup hats and then we do have the thicker straps. And then in the back it is your Y, y, y exactly, your Y racer bag. And yeah, logo is not here in the back, but we have it here in the front, if you can see it. I don't know. It's very tone and tone, so definitely difficult to see. But yeah, it's just like a great little basic, you know. I think the, the back looks... Cute. I actually do like a Y racer bag. I always think normal racer bags are kind of boring, but like a Y racer bag, I'm like, oh, okay, I can, I can, I can do that. Support wise, it is 
light to medium support, like still not fully supportive, but light to medium. A little bit of gaping maybe with my small chest, but like nothing too dangerous because we do have like this coming up a little bit higher and overall it's comfy. I can feel the straps a little bit here on my traps, but like not too much. And I'd actually also did wear this already for a little workout and you know, I had no issues with it. Um, yeah, but it's just a little basic. If you want like a cuter sports bra that exposes a lot more chest, then of course the Clio one is the one to go for, but this one gives you a little bit more coverage, a little bit more support, and definitely, you know, you're not gonna fall out of this one, no matter your chest size. So yeah, there's that. All right, so these were the two basic sports bars that I had. Now we're kind of going a little bit more into uh, different tops. <laughs> so I do have this uh, lila short sleeve top for you. And this one does have built-in cup pads. So this is, you know, kind of like the bridge between the sports bras and the tops. This is what I think at least. Again, made from this Allura fabric. So we have the 70% nylon, 30% spandex here. Very, very soft, stretchy brush but still kind of has like a sleek feel to it and this color is so pretty this is the baby blue color so yeah this is the i think this is my favorite of the whole the whole collection my favorite blue they have but of course you know i had to try the royal blue as well especially in the black you know because i mean this with black works really nice this with the royal blue also works really well so you do have options to mix and match if you're not want to go full on baby blue although i think that would also look really cute but yes so this one does have some sleeves it is um a crop top you know you can see it's not super full length we do have this really really cute square neckline which i always think looks super flattering i love a square neckline tone in tone camo fitness logo here in the front and then we have those little sleeves and then in the back you also do have a square kind of situation there and then I want to show you the inside. So I recently did review quite a few tops from Canva Fitness. And um, I don't know if you watched that video, but then you might recognize this, um, this kind of shelf bra situation that they have in here. So we do have molded cup pads in here. And then you do have the elastic. So it's really a shelf bra, but with molded cup pads. So no removable cup pads, but we have those molded ones in here, which I actually don't mind too much. Last time I felt like for me they were a little short, like this um, this whole situation kind of set a little bit high up on my chest for me. I'm hoping that this is a little bit better with this one, but let's see. And of course it also kind of depends on how long your whole upper body is, I guess, how this works. Otherwise I really, really like those molded cup pads. It's very like a, a very sleek look, you know, and they're not going to move anywhere. So they sit perfectly where they need to sit and it's just, yeah, just very sleek. And I love this fabric, like it feels so nice. And I like the color. I think this is gonna be really cute. Let's see it on. All right, uh, let's continue with this little top. Like, I feel like this one doesn't fit me perfectly. I don't know. Um, I do have some like folding over here at the, um, at the, uh, here, the, whatever it is, the uh, uh, cleavage situation <laughs> at the neck here. I do like that it is a square neckline though, so this is why I wanted to try this one because I do love a square neckline. But like for some reason, I don't know, it's not really getting me. Maybe I should have tried the long sleeve instead because this one also comes in long sleeves. So maybe then it's like, I don't know, more my thing. But I like the color, uh, short sleeves are fun. It's a fun little different thing. And then this part is a little looser, so it's not like super tight around here. And it is definitely like a, um, you know, cropped top. And then we do have these molded cup pads here. And I told you earlier that I had like another camo fitness like top or multiple tops that had these building cup pads. And they were a little high. I feel like these still sit a little higher than they, you know, they probably should sit a tad lower, but it's it's actually okay. Like the seam here, the elastic also sits at an okay place for me. So this is not an issue right now. And you know, it feels nice and comfy, but like for some reason, I feel like it's a little too big up here. So I definitely get some gaping when I do this. It's like a little loose. So it doesn't fit me as perfectly as some of the other tops with the built-in cup hats half. Maybe that's an issue, but like I wouldn't have wanted to size down because I feel like, you know, there's some tightness here in the sleeves and it's comfortable for the arms right now, but like, yeah, it's a little bit big around here. So definitely will fit you probably a little bit better if you have a bigger chest, 
then I don't know though if you're gonna fit into this uh, situation, but I feel like there's some space, so yeah. I also do like the fabric, it really, feels really, really nice on the top. And then in the back, we also do have a little bit of a lower cut here in the back, super cute. And yes, it's such a nice color. Support-wise, still more of a light support for sure. But um, yeah, it's cute, but maybe not my favorite. I would say I will, you know, maybe, yeah, the long sleeve could have been a little bit nicer, but it's also just like it doesn't fit perfectly for me, but I'm sure it will fit someone else pretty good. So, yeah. All right, next up we have the Everly long sleeve crop top. So I did get this one also in black. Again, you can never have enough long sleeve crop tops in a nice basic color that you can just pair with whatever you want. So this one has a higher uh, round neck here. We also do have the long sleeves because it is a long sleeve, duh. Right, no thumb holes, which I personally don't mind too much. The fabric is again the Allura fabric, so it is very, very stretchy, very soft, very, you know, still kind of like keeps you tucked in here. And I did get this one in a size small. Sometimes I do size up to a medium for the arms, but I was like, eh, it'll be fine. So I'll tell you if it is or not. <laughs> and then we have like some really cute ruch ruching detailing here on the side. I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but there's some ruching here. So it's like kind of those hidden booty scrunches that people put on leggings these days. We have that here on the side too. Like if you some ruching and it stretches. So, you know, depending on... I guess how it fits on your body, like it's not gonna be like super annoying, but you can kind of see here that there is definitely like some ruching going on. So really, really nice. And we of course do have this detailing on both sides and the ruching is along the side seam here on the top. Um, yeah, the back is very, very simple. Nothing to say about that one here. And overall, I would say really just like a really nice basic top with a little ruching. So you have a little bit of detailing, but it is really not that wild, right? Did I mention the tone and tone cam fitness level? I don't know. This one is not peeling off, so this one's good. It feels really silicone-y though. I like those, those tone and tone silicone logos, so I'm happy about those. And yeah, let's see it on. All right, it's a long sleeve. I will say the arms are a little tight, but the rest fits nicely, so I don't know, you know? I think like it's fine, but like I can feel the compression, so maybe you know, if you also are like a little bit like, oh, sometimes it can be tight around my arms, maybe do size up. But it's not a must, but I would say probably it's better. Um, yeah, they are quite tight. But otherwise, you know, like I said, fits nicely, not too, not too tight around here for sure. So this is actually a good fit. We have a high neck here on this top, long sleeves, no thumb holes. I personally don't mind having no thumb holes because I usually don't use them that much anyway, so it's fine. And then this is a nice length, so if I were not to wear a cross-waist legging here right now, I think you wouldn't see anything. So if you have a normal high-waisted legging here, then you're fully covered, basically. Maybe if you lift your arms a little bit, move around a little bit, things could uh, show, but like a centimeter of your tummy, basically, that's it. Um, we also do have some ruching detailing here on the side. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the black, but it is there. And then there's no built-in sports bra, no built-in cup pads or anything. I'm currently not wearing a sports bra underneath, but I would definitely say, you know, if you wear this for a workout, do wear a sports bra underneath because support-wise, you know, it is uh, no support. <laughs> so yeah, not like it's also not very compressive around the chest. So like the main body of the top is not compressive. And then it's just the arms that are like squeeze, you know, but that's okay. And I do like the ruching detailing. I think it's cute. Like I said, you don't really see it, but I think you can probably kind of like see the effects of it. Like, I don't know, a little bit maybe, but it's a cute little detailing to not make it like just the next basic long sleeve top. And then in the back, of course, also not much detailing. You also cannot see a lot of skin here. So yeah, but the material also feels nice. It is stretchy, it is soft. It's still quite lightweight. So yes, it will give you a little bit of warmth and it'll cover you but it's not gonna like suffocate you basically. And then we have a higher neck here, but again, it's not too much. I never like it when things come up like to my throat, but this one is, this one is okay. And of course you do get a ton of coverage because it is so high here. And yeah, this is our little top here. Let's move on.
Next up, we have the Serenity Nyla jacket, also in royal blue. And as you can tell from the name, this is the Serenity fabric again, so not the Allura fabric. Um, so we have the 75% nylon and 25% spandex. It just feels slightly different. Like, I really don't know how to explain it, but it feels slightly different. Um, this is still the color royal blue, and if you're wondering if you can easily mix and match the royal blue here with this, of the Serenity fabric with the Allura fabric, I think you can. Like, to me, they look like the exact same color. Like, if you look at these two, like, I feel like they're the same. So this is the Clio sports bra in the Allura fabric, and this is the Serenity um, jacket here. So, yeah, I feel like they are identical. Which is great, but you know, sometimes depending on what fabric a certain color is, it can, the color kind of can differ. It can be like a slightly different shade, but I feel like here they did a great job. Anyway, onto the jacket. I'm like not the biggest fan of like long sleeve full zip jackets, but this one kind of looked really cute, so I asked them to send me this. Um, we do not have a hood on this one, so you have just like a higher mock neck situation. We do have the full zip, the zipper is also tone in tone. So nothing silvery or anything. We of course do have again like a silicone camel fitness logo here. And in this one we do have a thumb hole situation, I think. Oh, it's one of those. I feel like I need to try this on to kind of see how this works. So it is a thumb hole. We do have a little thumb hole here. Let me, yeah, I can stick my thumb through it. But then you also do have this feature where you can just like fold this over your hand when it gets chilly, you know? So you kind of have like a built-in like glove, but not really a glove, but like just a built-in like kind of covering for your hand, which is actually quite clever. Sometimes, you know, the, now that winter is kind of receding, let's say that, I'm like, oh, I don't need gloves today. And then at some point I'm like, yeah, it's actually kind of cold on my hands. So if you like wearing this jacket, you just, you know, you have your built-in hand covers. I don't want to call it gloves, but like built-in hand covers. So that's actually quite clever. Um, otherwise, we also do have some fun seam detailing, so like kind of a rainbow seam situation here, which is nice. And of course, we do have, let me just do this, two zipper pockets here in the front. They're also tone and tone. And we have those really, really small zipper things. I like those because they're always like super, kind of like, not super obvious or anything. So it's kind of nice. So we have pockets here. They're not super big, but they're still going to fit some stuff. Let me check the other pocket. I'm assuming it's going to be the same size. Seems like the same size. Surprise, huh? Uh, yes, and then we also do have a little kind of cover for your zipper here at the top. And then in the bag, we also do have some interesting features. So you can kind of see this little kind of covering flap here. So we do have some mesh here in the bag. So you will get some kind of cold air coming in in case you're like wearing this for running or something. So you have this little mesh layer that is then covered here. And for some reason, we also do have a little loop here over that, like on, on there basically, so you have that little loop there. Yes, and then you just have some, some seams here in the back to kind of like cinch in the waist from the back. It's quite nice, and we also do have those in the front, that's where the pockets kind of sit. And I feel like this is not a full, super full length jacket. We'll see how long it is on me, but I have a feeling this is gonna hit me in the right spot, because I don't really like it when the jackets get too long. Because then, you know, with the wider hips, it's a little bit of an issue. But I feel like this could be a pretty good length. And yeah, let's see it on. All right, we have our little jacket here. So this is a full-on, like, dark blue outfit. And this jacket hits me kind of around, like, you know, it's not waist length. So it's not really crop, but it's also not full length. Because I full length, feel like full length goes longer. But this is kind of on top of my hip bone. So this is actually a great length, I think. Not too long. I don't really like it when it is too long. Just let me zip it up a little bit. This one is definitely a little tighter. So if you're in doubt, I would definitely say size up. But I like how it cinches in the waist. I mean, look at this waist. Look at it. I'm very happy with that, you know? It's like really cinching things in. And it fits perfectly. And since it doesn't go over the widest part of my hip, I can go for a size small here and really have my waist accentuate it this way. So I really do like the length. Yeah, it is. Like my hip bones are here and it's like a teeny tiny bit on top of the hip bones. We do have the two side pockets here as well. Not very big, so I don't think my phone would fit in there. I can try, but I don't think so. No, <sighs> maybe sideways like this. You could put it like this. <laughs> but yeah, definitely not a phone pocket, a key pocket, but uh, not for the phone. But they're still like, you know, very, very nicely hidden kind of because they're like, 
you know, very, very thin there. And we have this thicker zipper up here, a little Camo Fitness logo, some seam detailing on top here as well. And then the thumb holes, the sleeves are definitely long enough for me. I sometimes have the problem that I can't wear the thumb holes because it is just like very, very short. And then I also showed you this fun feature. So we do have our hand here and you can just wrap this and then you just have a nice little hand protection situation. There we go. Like, you know, if you're running and it gets a little cold or something, I guess you could uh, throw this over your hands. Very, very practical, I will say. I usually bring gloves when I know it's gonna be cold, but if I don't, you know, this is very handy to have, of course. Um, although I will say it's a little bit difficult, you know, if you do this with one hand to then also grab that piece of fabric to uh, get over your other hand, but it's fine. And I also think it's not too tight in the arms, it's just right. There's not definitely not a lot of extra space, maybe a teeny tiny bit, but it is just right. And then the back is very, very simple. So not really anything going on here, except for some seam detailing all the way down. And then of course, let me just zip it up for you. So you can see how high it goes. So we have a little mock neck situation here. Very, very nice and a little bit of a thing to cover the the zipper. Yes, exactly. But look at that waist. I like, yeah, I like the waist this creates. I mean, I do have the waist, it's just this. It doesn't create the waist, it accentuates the waist, right? So this is this is what I mean. I like how it accentuates the waist. Let's move on. Next up, we have a piece that I'm really excited about because it's really, really, really cozy. This is the Cozy Tech Full Zip Hoodie. Of course, also in this super, super cute baby blue. Let me just grab, where's this paper? I hear it crinkling. Yeah. This paper, you know. Um, yes, this color is so nice. So this one, of course, also comes in other colors, but when I saw this, I was like, yes, A, I have to have this, and B, I have to have this in baby blue, because look at this color, it's so nice. Um, I do have a Cozy Tech hoodie already, but that one was like a half zip. Um, this one is a full zip, so if you're looking for a full zip, I mean, I know I haven't tried it on yet, but I know that the Cozy Tech hoodie, the half zip that I have is super, super cozy, so I can definitely recommend. We do have a really big hood here. We have, again, a tone and tone zipper, and you can kind of see that it's like a big, big metal ring here. We, of course, also do have oops, the little kangaroo pockets here, and they have a fleece layer here on the inside. And then we do have the cuffs at the bottom. And so sizing for this one, I think this was a split sizing situation, so I did get this in a size small medium. So, um, you know, you can kind of, of course, size up more if you want it like really oversized. But I feel like this is like a really good cozy oversized fit for being a size small medium. So I basically stuck true to my size for this one. And I think you should probably do that. And then look at the inside. So, so soft and fleecy. I kind of wish they had layered the hood with that as well. But I also feel like maybe that's not the best idea depending on, you know, your type of hair maybe. So I get it. But it looks so soft. I'm so excited to try this one on and to wear this for the rest of the of the day, basically. You know, this is like, I've gotten chilly sometimes, you know, because it's a little chilly in the apartment or in areas, in certain areas in the apartment. And then I'm just like throwing on my Amen fleece, for example. But like this one has definitely got to be a strong contender for the piece I'm going to try to throw on when I get a little chilly. So, uh, yeah, let's be it on. All right, here we have this cozy piece. Definitely, definitely, definitely already one of my favorites. And, um, you know, this is definitely something I'm gonna wear for lounging and maybe even at work, you know. But I just wanna be a little more cozy or something, but like, look at this, like so nicely oversized. And then the inside is so soft. Look at it, so soft and fluffy. Yeah, two nice big pockets here. Again, let's see. I mean, eh, yeah, big enough. Here we go, just my phone is peeking out a tad, but really not too much, and I can't actually put it in like this way around, so it has to go in horizontally. But yeah, it's, it fits enough, you know, that's, that's all I'm asking for. And then we have nice long sleeves, no thumb holes, which again, personally, I don't really mind too much. And then let me just zip it up all the way. Oh. 
All right, here we go. So yeah, definitely, I wouldn't size up in this if you wanted more oversized because I feel like this is definitely oversized enough. I mean, look at this. It is like really, really cozy and comfy. I also like that we have this tone and tone little zipper loop thing. We have the big drawstrings because we do have a hood. There we go. There we go. The hood isn't too big. Like it's big enough, but like it's not like overly big. And you can tighten it if you want to, if you just want to sit there, you know. But your desk can be like, don't look at me. I don't want to see anyone else. And it is a cropped length, so like not super long. But I like this cropped length, especially if you wear this with a pair of leggings. I think this is perfect. If you, for example, do like have eyed the, what were they called? The Pop Flex Cloud hoodies or something. Like I feel like this is a more affordable alternative to this one because... I've tried, I have one or two. They are basically kind of the same fit, like, but the hood is actually not like too big on this one here. And uh, let me just adjust. And uh, you know, you do have like the nice pockets. It is super soft and fleece lined here. So you have that as well. And I feel like the, yeah, the fit is very similar and the length and everything, but this one is definitely a little bit more affordable, so. Maybe less color options available, but you know what? It's uh, cozy and this is a beautiful baby blue. So uh, what more do you need color wise? But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. This is definitely going to be one of the pieces I'm going to wear the most out of all of these. I already know it. So yeah, let's move on. All right, now you're like, Rike, where are all the leggings? We're waiting for leggings, for bottoms. You know, don't worry. We're getting there. We're getting there right now. And first, I want to show you these little leggings in this beautiful royal blue. And these are the Serenity High-Waisted Workout Tights. So, first, for tights or leggings or whatever you want to call them, I'm usually in between a size small and medium. I think last time I got leggings from Camel Fitness, I got a small or a medium, I don't know. But anyway, I decided that maybe small is the way to go for me for cattle fitness. So I have a smaller waist and a bigger butt hip thigh situation. And I prefer a little bit more compression um, compared to less compression. So that's my preference. Um, Cause I like, I don't like it when leggings slide down on me, you know, so I'd rather be a little too compressed than have things a little too loose basically. But of course that's always personal preference. Anyway, so these are the Serenity leggings. Um, they do have the 75% nylon, 25% spandex. And yeah, like I said, royal blue. So these are very, very good basic legging. We have a nice high waist here, no top seam, and then also no front seam here. They are probably gonna be like a 7 8 length on me. I don't actually remember what the inseam was, maybe 25 inches. We have no side seam, nothing here. And then in the bag, we do have some V-glue detailing. So let me come a little closer with this, so I hope you can see that. Big glue detailing, and then we also have a tone and tone cam fitness logo there again. So very, very simple. You can kind of see that the legs cinch in a little bit more towards the top of the waist, which I like to see. We also do have a seam here in the back to separate the glutes a little bit more, but like no scrunch or anything, which I don't necessarily need anyway. And these are like stretchy, they're soft, you know, they're they feel quite lightweight. But yeah, very, very basic. So if you're looking for a nice basic legging. I'm sure these are a good grab and let's see them on. Onto our Serenity leggings here in this nice, beautiful dark blue. I hope it shows up as dark blue here as well. Super nicely high-waisted. We do not have a top seam here, no front seam. I don't have any camel toe issues with this. And then in the back we have curved glute seams. I don't know if you can see them um, and the tone and tone logo here as well. I like these a lot. Uh, there are a seven eighth length on me here. And I will also say that, you know, I wore these also for a weightlifting session. They're comfortable, there's no sliding down, no readjustment needed. So I would definitely say for this one, if you're in between, size down. Um, the fabric, I feel like could be a tad softer, but it is soft enough, it hugs you enough. Um, I feel like also I could use a little bit more compression in the waistband, but it is okay. That's the smaller area of my body, right? The waist the waist area here. And I really do like how high they come because we do have my belly button down there. 
and you know they're just really nice and high i feel like they really hit me at my natural waist so uh yeah i'm very happy with these they're comfy they're cute you know very simple no side seam no other seam detailing here so really just like a simple legging and um yeah it's still very lightweight as well so no complaints Next up, we have the Allura wrapped leggings in baby blue. <laughs> look at this baby blue. I know, I know. I've said this multiple times now. Every time we see this baby blue, I'm like, oh, look at this. But it's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> I like baby blue. I just do. Um, so yeah, these are the Allura ones. And they definitely feel different. <laughs> I feel like they're, they're so much softer still. They feel a little bit more... Like a little bit less lightweight, but not in a bad way. They feel like they might be a little bit more hugging, a little bit more compressing, but like not, like I said, not in a bad way. Um, so again, we have this 70% nylon and 30% spandex here. We do not have a front seam again, and we do have a cross waist on these. I think you can also get them in a normal waist. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, you know, there are options. And we also don't have a top seam. Uh, yes, I also did get these ones in a size small. And then in the back, we again have our V glue detailing here, tone and tone camel logo. We also do have a side seam on these. I'm not sure if you can currently see it, but there is a full side seam going all the way down. And then in the back, we also do have a little invisible kind of scrunch. So you can see how this is a little bit more scrunched here. And this is one of these that is stretchy. So it is kind of going to disappear once you put these on. This is my favorite type of scrunch. I don't like the ones um, that you can really see that kind of look like a little b-hole. I don't like those really. They're not my, my sort of thing. But like these, I can kind of get behind. Like those, I don't mind at all. So I like it when they're stretchy, when I don't feel com like, you know, like... I don't want to feel the scrunch. I don't want it to, to draw attention, you know, to like, I don't, if I feel it, like, I feel like it's kind of like distracting me. So I don't like that, but the invisible one that stretches with you, I can absolutely get behind and that is comfortable to wear for me and makes the glutes look a little bit better, you know, but yeah, I also love a cross waist. I'm really excited to try this. Let's see it on. Okay, on to these leggings here. So this is the new fabric. We have the cross waist. Again, you don't have to necessarily get cross waist leggings, but I did pick a cross waist because I do love my cross waist leggings because I always think they look good. They snatch in the waist and just give you a really nice, you know, it's just a nice look. Um, I will say that it's a little low here in the front because you can see my belly button usually with other cross waist leggings, they're like a little bit higher. So yes, maybe I could pull them a bit higher, but they do slide down a little bit to that. So this is kind of where they want to sit, at least for me. And this is a true cross waist, so like these parts are not sewn together. So they're like separated here. We don't have a top seam and we also do not have a front seam. So also no camel toe issue here for me. And we also do have a side seam going all the way down, 7 8 length here for these leggings on me. And then remember, these had the um, like invisible scrunch, so you cannot really see it. I feel like it usually makes the glutes look a little bit better and like kind of just goes around your glutes a little bit nicer. But of course, it will also stretch out a little bit over time. And, you know, so I tried working out in these um, and also did like a weight session. But like for me, the cross waist was kind of like... 
rolling down a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe for this one, if you're in between, do size up. So maybe I should have done that. Maybe then it would have been a little bit better, but also I don't have a ton of compression here in the back. So I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Would, would have been good to try, you know, <laughs> but just giving you a heads up there. We also do have a v, a v here for the glue detailing in the back. So not just that invisible seam, but also some, some seam detailing there. And overall, I really like these. I think this fabric compared to the Serenity is just a little bit softer and it feels just a little bit more body hugging. So I like that. Um, yeah, I just would have liked the crossways to be a little bit higher and to not roll down as much. But then again, crossways also do that in general. So, you know, it's just the thing with the crossways. So you kind of have to know. But like, I feel like if I had gotten a straight waist legging, and this uh, new fabric and this other fabric versus the Serenity straight normal waist leggings, I probably would have preferred these. So yeah, I think the fabric is just like, feels just like a little bit more, a little bit more hugging, you know, and I like that. I like to be hugged by my leggings. So yes, and it is also definitely very, very lightweight and really, really, really nice and soft and, you know, still very, very stretchy as well. So you can do whatever you want, but yeah, definitely. Like, of course, now that I'm demonstrating, it's not really rolling down too much, but uh, I could definitely feel I was doing some burpees or something and then, you know. So maybe don't wear a crossways legging for a hit workout when you do burpees or something. I don't know. But I like these. I also do like the color a lot, of course, because, you know, it's baby blue. So, but let's move on. All right, back to Serenity. We do have the Serenity straight leg pants here. So they're kind of like joggers, but made from a legging material and then they do have straight legs. So I generally haven't really gotten back to, you know, that bootleg flare trend. I used to be really, really into it when I was like 12, 13. Like that, those were the times. Like my favorite pair of jeans were like, of like flared, pair of jeans with you know stripes <laughs> with different fabrics so with jeans with corduroy and then something I don't even know what the other thing was but I loved those and they had like a nice flair to them um but yeah I haven't really gotten back to them but I'm I'm kind of you know trying to at least try it out so yeah straight leg pants we have here and those I got in black because I feel like they could be nice for lounging at home and then you know of course, I could have picked any color, but why not pick black? So yeah, we do have a um, kind of like elastic here in the middle. They're going to be nice and high-waisted. Drawstring as well. The drawstring is always very important for me. These ones I also did get in the size small because they are made from legging material. So we do still do have all that stretch that we have in the leggings. And we also do have side pockets here. They're actually nice and deep. Two side pockets. Where's the other one? Maybe it's, no, there it is. Okay, so two side pockets, indeed. And we also do have a little tone and tone Camo Fitness logo here in the front. And yeah, you can see the straight legs. And then there's also like a fake seam detailing that goes all the way down. Again, I'm not sure if you can see it as well because these are black, but it kind of has like a little like a business um, kind of, what do you call it? I don't even know what you call that anymore. Like, you know, that's folded over and like ironed and whatever. Um, it's a booboo fat in German. It's an iron fold, if you translate it literally. Uh, but yes, the, so we have kind of a, a, like a, a, something that kind of is supposed to kind of mimic that in a way. And 
otherwise in the back where you just have like no glute detailing or anything you just have like this really high waistband so yeah and it's indeed straight legs so i'm curious to see if i can if i can you know like it <laughs> but of course the material feels really nice it's legging material so i don't have anything against legging material i love legging material let's see it on all right and here we have the white legged pants they are a little short on me, so um, definitely more of a 7 8 length. I feel like for wide leg pants, I would prefer a little bit more length, you know, or maybe different length options. This one only comes in one length option, so this is the default. If you are 5'7 like me or longer, taller, you know, then it'll probably be a little bit short on you. But of course, depending on how you want these types of pants to fit you. Otherwise, they're super comfy, a little bit tighter around my thighs here, my butt, because this is where I have more stuff. And then we do have nice side pockets here. They are high-waisted. We do have a drawstring. And then, you know, you can tighten the drawstring, obviously. This is how a drawstring functions. This is how it works. I always also like the combination of black with a light baby blue. Always like that. And then we also do have a like front seam, but like since these are a little bit looser, so they're kind of more like a jogger than they are a legging, I don't really feel the front seam. And then we also do have some seam detailing. I don't know if you can see it because this is black, but yes, we do have a, like a seam going down, like this like iron folding thing in dress pants. Um, but we don't have it in the back. So the back is very, very clean. There's nothing really, no pockets here, no seam. Um, and yeah, deep pockets. Well, I think these are gonna fit my phone. Yes, so deep pockets. I would classify that as a deep pocket if it fits my phone. And like I said, they're comfy, they're legging material. So a little bit different than a normal jogger, but it's cozy, it's comfy. I could definitely picture myself wearing these at home. Maybe not so much out because I feel like, like I said, I feel like they're a little short for the style that they are. And uh, this type of white legged pant, I prefer to be longer on me, but they're still comfy and cozy. And yeah, you know, I don't, I don't mind them. So yeah. All right, maybe you do remember, I hope you do at least, the Cozy Tech uh, hoodie that we saw. So of course I did have to get the matching Cozy Tech sweatpants. Again, this beautiful baby blue. I know I've said this so many times, but it is a beautiful baby blue, okay? And yeah, these are like your, you know, your traditional sweatpants. The outer material is your traditional sweatpant material, but a little bit softer. I like that. And then we do have two side pockets here you know, in the front. Uh, these ones I did get in a size medium because, you know, sometimes they don't have a lot of stretch. These ones only have a little bit of stretch, so not too much because we do have 65% polyester and 35% cotton. So yeah, not, not the most amount of stretch. And then, you know, in sweatpants, I don't want to be like, I don't want to feel it. I don't want it to feel too tight. So that's why. I did go for a medium here. We do not have a drawstring uh, on the elastic waistband, but yeah, we do have this elastic band and I mean, it stretches quite quite well and also cinches in quite well. So I think this should be fine. We also do have a little tone and tone stitched in camel fitness logo. And then at the bottom, we also do have elastic cuffs. Not much detailing here in the front or in the back otherwise. So we do have just a normal seam. And then also, of course, 
course, the inside is super, 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 super soft and fleece lined. Look at this, so soft. Basically like the hoodie, but like for your legs, right? Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to uh, try these out. At home, I do like to lounge in either leggings or sweatpants, you know, if I don't go outside anymore. So, and these look very cute. Let's see them on. Onto our joggers here, you know, I like the color, of course. They are nicely high-waisted. I actually also will say that really, I don't really need a draw drawstring here. So this is a size medium for me, and I'm happy I did go for the size medium, so I would definitely suggest to go up if you're in between sizes, but I feel like everyone knows this is what you should do with joggers, right? Unless they're like tight-fitting joggers, but these are a little bit more of a loungy style. Um, I also feel like, you know, if you want it a little bit more oversized, you can absolutely go up another size but I wouldn't do another two sizes just because I think at some point it'll probably become a little too loose. And since you do not have a drawstring here, you don't have a way to adjust it otherwise. So yeah, but yeah, you can see like there's actually no gaping here right now for me. So this is pretty good because sometimes it happens with joggers if I size for this area here that it's just gaping and if there's no drawstring then there's literally nothing I can do about it. Um, I also feel like they could come up a little bit higher in the back, but it's probably just because my butt is taking up all the space. So <laughs> there's that. We have the nice deep pockets here. Definitely will fit my phone, but let's, let's double check. There we go. Phone is in there. And lengthwise, these are actually also pretty good. So I feel like they're kind of like a full length on me. Of course, if you're smaller and you don't want them to bunch up too much, this is maybe a little long for you, but like, honestly, full length on me. I'm happy they're nice and soft on the inside, right? If I'm just gonna show you the, the fleecy lining here again so you can see it, really, really, really nice and soft. So I like that too. And um, overall, they're nice and cozy. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna lounge on these at home for sure. And I'm happy to add these to my uh, joggers collection. Oh, also here we have the stitched in little logo, of course, tone and tone as well. But yeah, I'm happy with these. I like them. I feel like a little bit of stretch, like a little bit of spandex, maybe two or three percent could have, you know, made them even better because definitely, you know, there's not a ton of stretch in there, but like not to say none, basically. Um, so yeah, they're not gonna be my favorites over the Buff Bunny Collection Cloud Joggers just because they don't have stretch. But, uh, you know, maybe we can see some of these with stretch at some point. That would be even better. But yeah, otherwise I'm happy with them. All right, it's conclusion time. We saw all these beautiful blues. Let me just grab a few so I can, a few of the colors so we can kind of, you know, look at this uh, this nice display. The dark blue is very dark, this royal blue. And then with the baby blue, we have some black. So all of it matches very well. Um, you know, I kind of was like, when I first saw the theme, it was like, oh, the Azure collection and blues and stuff. I expected to see more shades of blue. But honestly, I'm not disappointed because I think they picked two really nice shades and then we have the black as well to go with everything. And the colors just mix and match really easily. So that is really good. Also, quick uh, heads up because, yes, you know, this is a really cozy piece and definitely one of my favorites <laughs> from this haul. So, yeah, I kind of just had to throw this on. Um, so this is the baby blue in the cozy tech pieces. And then we do have the baby blue in the Allure fabric, for example. So those are slightly different in case you're thinking about matching those. So they definitely differ slightly, just you know to let you know, but I don't think it's like terrible or anything. It's just a little bit more tonal than, you know, a unicolored look, but yes. Um, I will say I did like the pieces, even the straight leg pants, you know, I can, I can see myself wearing those from time to time. Um, I wish the the joggers would maybe have a little bit more stretch just because that's how I like my joggers But no complaints there and I mean the the little uh, Hoodie here is so cozy and I love it and I just like the fleece against my skin You know, I'm a big fan of fleece and it's also still good time to wear this. I also feel like this is not Like I expected it to be like a little bit thicker and a little bit warmer and it is super soft and is warm but it is actually not like that warm that you couldn't wear this also on like a colder summer evening for example which i think is actually really great because that means you can actually wear this year round you know maybe in winter you know i would add another layer not just wear this but just saying 
And um, yeah, so I did like the pieces. I'm really, really grateful that Camel Fitness sent me all this stuff. If you have any questions about any of the pieces, if you need help with sizing, whatever, I can always help you. And you just drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and try to, you know, figure things out with you, discuss active or whatever you want. But yeah, if you're looking for a good affordable brand, if you're looking for some cute little pieces, I feel like a lot of these were also really good basics actually, then, you know, you should check out um, this brand and also, of course, this newer launch. Yeah, so far I've had no issues with the pieces that I've gotten, so I'm quite happy. The cozy tech, like I said, you know, I'm very happy with, but also the leggings have been performing well for me. And overall, I think also this new Allura fabric is really, really cool. feels so soft and just hugs you in all the right places. So that is really nice. And yeah, let me let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? I hope you did, of course. Uh, what's your favorite piece to grab anything from this launch? Have you shot from Camel Fitness before? Also, in case, uh, you know, you live outside of the US or something, you can still order Camel Fitness and actually this stuff always comes without import fees. So no import fees to be paid, which is always like a big relief um, for anyone not living in the country um, these companies are situated in. I think actually they ship their stuff from China. And yeah, I did not have to pay any import fees. So what you pay for the stuff is what you have to pay for it in total. And that's actually really good prices. So, you know, I'm very happy with that. Yes, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, like I already said. If you have any feedback, any suggestions, anything really, like I said, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can DM me there, but be aware that I'm more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. And of course, also, I shouldn't forget to mention this again. If you decide you want to check out Camel Fitness, you can use code Rika for 5% off your purchase. And yeah, like I said, never feel forced to buy anything if you don't want to, but you know, it saves you some money. So if you want to buy something, I'd be really happy if you would use my code so they know that I sent you and um, I would get a small commission. But yes, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe and you know, all those things. And I will see you next time. Bye.